Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smotel, and welcome back to another video. On today's video of Hytale News, we're going to be looking at Zone 3, uh, what Zone 3 has to offer, what Zone 3 is all about, how it works. And uh, yeah, if you guys don't already know what a zone is in Hytale, zones are pretty much like biomes if you're talking about Minecraft. Each zone is different from one another, and they all have a different aesthetic around them. For example, Zone 3 is more of a snowy-ish type of biome. And uh, I believe Zone 1 is more of a plains biome, and Zone 2 is more of a desert biome altogether there's about four different zones inside of hytel um i do believe they're going to extend the zones possibly to six or maybe even more in the future but right now we already have four confirmed zones but today is not about how many zones we have or what each zone has to offer versus another zone we're just talking about zone three and we're just gonna look at it and see what's it about and you know gasps in all its glory you feel me oh yeah back to zone three zone three is basically uh like your snow biome if we're talking about minecraft like i said earlier we're gonna be looking at this little teaser trailer here i kind of i kind of want to check it out i haven't checked it out already so you're gonna get like a live reaction i think it's gonna be pretty lit um and by the way i keep looking over here because my camera used to be over here but now it's over here so if i ever look over here and i look back i just just know i'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm a little messed up but yeah let's do this all right all right we got the snow i like how the leaves look and they're like switching in there is that a polar bear okay Okay, that's nice. Nice little polo bear. Nice little village in the back. That's pretty cool, actually. I like the trees. I like how the trees have, like, little branches and stuff. That's really, really cool, too. Is that a mouse? Hold up. Is that a mouse with rocks? I like how you actually have rocks that stand out of the ground. And I think that's a little mouse. It's like a nice little cute little mouse. That's a nice cave. I think those are, like, glaciers or whatnot. And they glow, which is really cool. Nice little cave entrance with the the mushrooms and everything. That's really cool, actually. This right here is actually really, really cool. I don't know if this is, like, randomly generated or they just built this. But it's like a little village that's on the inside of a cave. Which I think is really, really neat. Really, really neat. That seems like an outside little outpost type of village. I wonder if we're going to see, like, different variations of villages throughout the world. That would be really, really cool if we do. Overall, I think my thoughts on the trail is actually really, really nice. I like the vibes. Lots of, I like the aesthetics. I like the mobs that they show them too. Polar bears and little mouse. Little rocks sticking out the ground. Little outposts in, in uh, villages and stuff like that. Little villages inside of caves and everything. Like, I really, really, really like uh, what they're doing here with Zone 3. And I also didn't notice the sky at first. The sky looks really, really nice, too. If you look at it, uh, it's almost like the game has built-in shaders. You see the sky right there? You see the sun and, like, the little glare of the sun and everything? That's really cool. It looks like it actually has built-in shaders which is interesting now they did offer us a few screenshots and a few little bitty little bitty video snippets here and there so we're going to be taking a look at those too just to see which ones actually poke out to me i like this picture right here it's like a ram or whatnot i really really i like how they show off a lot of the mobs as well like they showed off polar bears rams little owls like this is a really really cute little owl right there that's sitting on like a little little stump of a branch i like the amount of prefabs that they've shown too like this in itself just having this randomly generate in your world would be amazing especially if there's like npcs or whatnot around and then there's like like treasure inside of the chest or whatnot i think that's really really nice they also showed a picture of this which i think is a nice little cave it looks like we got a skeleton um it looks just like a little dungeon or maybe a mine shaft of sorts um but it looks really cool i, I can already tell that the amount of prefabs that's going to be inside of Hyto is is going to be immense literally immense there's going to be a lot of randomly generated structures um to the point where you're gonna realize that it's it's a lot you know you're not gonna see the same structure more than once unless you really play the game a lot i feel now this is an interesting little picture here it says outlanders which i did read a little bit about what this was about and i'm assuming these are evil people because it, it talks about corruption if i'm looking at this correctly it seems like certain parts of hytel would be corrupted and uh during these corruptions you'll find monsters or mobs that are enemies which is pretty interesting i wonder if these are only going to spawn in zone three or are these going to be overall like you know zones and, or whatnot here's another super duper interesting screenshot it seems like it's a it's a point of view of somebody inside of a cave and uh in the back you see like the monster or whatnot it looks like a yeti type monster in a snow biome he looks pretty fearsome 
Um, I, I don't know. Maybe he draws something crazy, but I, it looks fun to fight him. I'm gonna be honest. If I'm not mistaken, uh, that mob that's in that screenshot, we actually seen in the trailer. Yeah, we did. Right in this, right after, right here. This is the mob. That's the mob we just seen in a screenshot, which is actually really, really cool. So he's definitely going to be in zone three. And we also see a little bit more information about zone three as well. Uh, so that the, the, the Ram that we seen in the video, I mean, the Ram that we seen in the, uh, on the website is actually going to be tameable and writable. As you can see, homies writing it right here, which I think is really awesome. I think that is really, really cool. But overall zone three seems like a really, really interesting zone. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome. Honestly, let me know what you guys think about zone three down below in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. I will check you back on the next video. Have a great day, everybody. My name is Smotel, and I'll see you guys later.